welcome back to another video on Android element. In this video we will see how we can implement the room database in our project. So for this first of all we need to add the dependency of room database in our project. Here are the dependency of room database version 2.0. So just copy this dependency and go to the build.creator module app file. And just simply paste it here and now click on the sync now okay now close the app file first of all I want to show the documentation of the room database here are the schema or structure of the room database there are three components that are used in room database the first is entity and the second one is data access object and the last one room database class class so we will create one by one in our project so first of all we will create entity class so go to this java folder right click on this and create a new java class so type the name of the entity i'm typing the name person and click on ok here you need to define the entity because this is our entity class so you need to add the add the rate of and type the entity add the rate is defined and annotation so i type add the rate entity so this is entity inside the person class we will need to define the attribute that store the data so just create one by one let's say i create private int id and again i will create private string let's say name let's say name again for one more private string let's say email now here we need to define every attribute which types of this attribute so first one is a id so that will be a primary key so i just type annotation and select the primary key here you need to add the name of this primary key or also you can define it auto generated so for this you need to add the brackets and type here auto generator you can see here but i am not going to add auto generation same like this one you need to add the annotation of this other attribute so this attribute is not a primary key so add a column info so because this is not a primary key so here is the column of the table you want to add the name of this column just type here name and here define the name let's say i type person name and again for the last one add the annotation and type the column info and add the brackets here again type the name let's say person email that's it now here we need to define the setters and getters of attribute attributes so right click on the space and go to the generate here you can see getters and setters just click on this and select all and press ok here you can see all the getters and setters are automatically are generated so close this person.java file now in the documentation you can see the second object is data access object object i mean second attribute or you can call it components so right click here and create a new java class now this time we need to select the interface so type the name let's say person data access object that's it now press ok okay here you need to define the data access object so data access object and here we need to define only method which types of method we need four methods for example we need insert data we fetch data or view data we can update data or we can delete data so first of all i will create only one method so let's create public void let's say add person 
and here we need to define the find the object of the person class so person and object of the person and that's it now close this file and here one thing more you need to define this is the addition method so here define the entity that is sorry annotation and type here insert that's it there is no other needs if you want to remove this public because this is useless if you want to remove you can also now close this data access object and go to again right click on this and this time create java class and this class will be abstract so first select the abstract and type let's say i type room database class so room database class that's it now press ok ok here you need to define the database so first annotation and type here database that's it here there are two parameters are required the first parameter is entity what is entity that we have already defined here you can see here person so type the name person dot class and the second parameter is the version because we are using the version 2.0 so here we need to type the version 2 as you can see in our dependency our version is 2.0 okay now here we need to add the object of the person DAO so create the object so public abstract and then the object of the person DAO mean person data access subject so person DAO and let's say I type the name person DAO that's it and it must extend with room database so extends type room database you can see here over components of the room database are completed so in the next video we will see how we can add the data in room database and see you next video take care